Today we're gonna be unboxing these 14 be- wait, is it 14? 1, 2, 14. Yes, it is 14 beautiful puzzles. Can you believe they all started because one guy just decided to invent this? We're gonna turn them and twist them to see how they work. And then you, yes you, are gonna comment below which one is the beautifulest so that we can crown one the winner. Let's get into it. Do, 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 do. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Oh, all of these cubes were kindly provided to me by Daily Puzzles, so I'm gonna leave this right there. Our first two cubes are these guys, both made by T, uh, and they look similar-ish, but <laughs> you will never ever guess the name of this cube. It is the Fluffy Cube. Fluffy. Yeah. Now this guy looks like it's locked in place, like there's no way you can turn it, but check this out. <laughs> right? How good is that? All the pieces just slide so easily over each other. It almost looks like an optical illusion. Let's see if I can turn it quickly. Yeah, it's not too bad. Ooh, ouch. It's got some really spiky bits. Look, it's so unforgiving. It's not turning just because that little bit's out. Little correction, and now it turns. Some movie magic. And the cube is solved. Eh, voila. The fluffy cube looks so interesting to turn, but it's not very fun to solve. Will this guy be any better? So this is oh, the double ivy cube. Okay, so this is a regular ivy cube, except it's a mini one because I couldn't find my normal. And this is a double ivy cube. Can you see the difference now? This guy can only turn in four ways. One, two, three, and four. Whereas this guy can turn from every single corner, which means it can turn in eight different ways. It's pretty cool. Let's see if I can make some nice pattern with it. Hey, that's kind of cool. Oh no, can I reverse that? Hey, that's really cool. I have a bad feeling about this, guys. Ooh, we're getting there. <laughs> Look at that. I've just cycled these three like edge pieces. Ooh. Now I've cycled the centers. For a lot of puzzles like this, if you come up with like a four move sequence, you end up actually just like cycling through lots of different cases. This is literally taking me forever. Oh yes! <laughs> I lost count as how many times I did that, but hey, I solved the double ivy cube, woohoo! Okay, doing that showed how much harder this is gonna be than the regular ivy cube. Like, you can basically solve this guy without any instructions, but yeah, I'm gonna need some help with this one. What a beautiful cube though. Speaking of beautiful cubes, check out these guys. So they're both made by Fansin. This guy over here is wrapped in more plastic. We get it, you wanna keep your cubes well preserved, but Think about the sea turtles. So here's a puzzle, but look at this. <laughs> it's so great. It's literally like someone just took a normal three by three and just like twisted it. Well, you, you know what I mean. So it actually turns just like a three by three, but instead of, you know, the center being like, you know, there, that's a centerpiece. Like each centerpiece, I mean, compared to this, is like two colors, whereas, you know, this guy just has one. So there's just added complexity there. And it means that this piece over there is actually the same as that piece there. And that's only one color. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I believe this guy also shape shifts. Yes, it does. <laughs> so shape shifting is when a puzzle goes out of its original shape as you scramble it. And so the challenge is not just to solve it, but also get it back into its original shape. Dude, how cool is that? It's like it went through another dimension. Okay, let's solve it. Okay, that's my cross done. And now... <laughs> so I have a feeling, like I think I need the center to be like that. So I'm gonna do that by taking out the green piece for a little while, twisting this, putting it back. And now it's all good. Okay, let's do it to all the other sides. And finally this guy. Nice. That's all the center's done. Let's now get the corners and these edges in. I wonder if I can use F2L on this. Yes, I can. Oh no, <laughs> it's the wrong one. That guy goes over here. You. So this will fix this. This will fix this. This will fix this. Ta-da! Two layers done! Except if you know how to solve a 3x3, three three, you'll recognize that this is not a regular OL case, which means one of these edges must be flipped. And you cannot tell because it looks exactly the same. So let's pretend it's flipped. I'm doing reinsert it. Flipped. And there you go. This is now an OL case that we recognize. Let's solve that. And we have a JA. Boom! There you go. Twisty 3x3. Three three. 
That's a lot of fun. I purposely unboxed this guy right before this one because this is hard to open. Look at this guy. Now at first glance, uh, you might be thinking, what's he doing? That's the exact same puzzle. But is it? Look, what is going on? This is not a three by three. It is a skew. So this is a regular skew. It's like a cube, but it's a skew, hence the name skew. And as you can see, it's got different type of symmetry. It's actually a little bit similar to that double ivy cube from before, actually. But yeah, you solve this cube doing things like sledgehammers and hedge slammers, which oh, I wonder if you can do it to this. Oh, I guess you can. <laughs> and this guy shape shifts as well. Oh my gosh, what is that? Let's restore this and just say that I solved it. I think I've solved the twisty scoop once in my life before, but let's not try it again today. Needless to say, it's a very pretty puzzle. I mean, uh, I just love the geometry of these puzzles. I wonder if you'll vote for these guys with the most beautiful cube contest. And of course, don't forget, they can all be found at Daily Puzzles. The next cube to unbox is this guy. Ho oh, oh. ho, more plastic because, yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, fingerprint magnet. This is the three by three mirror blocks because, well, I mean, hi. The mirror blocks is the same color on every single side because every single piece has a different shape. From the smallest, this teeny tiny guy, to this big monster over here, me jungle, me, ooh, daily puzzles. Oh, I'm wearing a daily puzzles jumper. They're everywhere. And so you solve this cube, not by color, but completely based on the shapes of the pieces alone. And I mean, look at it when you scramble it. It is like fourth dimension, everything has just exploded type stuff. It looks like some kind of elemental crystal with like a cuboid molecular bonding thingy. So most people will solve this like largest pieces first and that forms like that tallest bottom layer and then middle layer and then that little top layer there. All the exact same algorithms as a regular three by three. I'm actually surprisingly bad at the mirror blocks, but I also think it looks so cool like this. So I'm just gonna leave it. If you've never turned one of these guys before, I highly recommend that you check it out. It's, yeah. I mean, look at it. Next up, the Lego cube. I mean, the fancy cube building blocks cube. Yes, there's no Lego branding here, guys. Absolutely nothing to do with Lego at all except for the fact that the pieces completely fit with each other. So the building blocks, not Lego cube, um, is just this at its core, it's completely black and it's got the exact types of studs that you'll need to fit Lego type pieces on it. So there should be a total of like six sides, nine pieces, 54 uh, pieces altogether. Uh, and yeah, you basically like stick the puzzle yourself and make your Lego cube, so let's do it. Oh, and the very last piece. Actually, before I put that guy on, I want to see if I just got this little minifigure. <laughs> and I want to see if it actually fits. There you go. What did I say? It fits perfectly. So it should be able to fit on top of these as well. Yeah, that's pretty great. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. And there you go. Oh man, I should solve it using that. That would be so hard though. Let's do one algorithm. Sorry, buddy. It's actually not too bad, uh, all things considered. It doesn't, isn't like the most amazing corner cutting. That's being able to turn it even when the layer isn't totally aligned. But I mean, you know, it's not terrible. I wonder how quickly I can solve this thing. <coughs> oh my gosh, it's terrible. What is happening? The secret seems to be try to do like no corner cutting at all. Okay, come on, third time lucky. <sighs> all right. That's probably as good as it's gonna get. What can I say? It's definitely not something you wanna speed solve with, but I mean, it's a pretty cool cube to look at. Oh wait, checkerboard, checkerboard. Hey, oh, whoops. Hey, oh, sorry buddy. Still, cool cube. Next, let's open some round puzzles. To be honest, I'm not totally sure what this guy is, but I think it's a two by two. It looks a lot like the Rubik's Orbit Cube that I've unboxed in another video. Now just looking at it like this, you might be wondering, wait, how is that solved? But I believe it's solved because when you look on any one side, see those four colors, that's all white, that's all orange, that's all yellow. That's how you know when it's solved. So I said before that it's like a two by two because as you can see, and I believe, yes, there you go. So it turns just like a two by two as well. <laughs> it is so weird to hold and to turn because, you know, you're turning like the edges of a cube over here. And for this one, there's like nothing there. 
that's like you're turning the very core. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can give this uh, a solve. So I'm gonna get white happening down the bo- <gasps> Oh no. Oh no, I underestimated the cube. Oh no. That is a lot harder than I realized. I thought these things like st stuck together, but because you can rotate it this way, it means, oh no. See, all the white pieces need to have yellow on the other side because yellow and white are opposites. But now I've got like red on the other side of this and blue on the other side. Do I need to like pair them all up correctly first? Oh no, oh no, <laughs> what have I done? 3,000 years later. I am stumped. I underestimated the difficulty of this puzzle. You win this time, buddy, you win. I will conquer you one day. Well, whatever you can spin. Hey. <laughs> Oops. And here's our next round puzzle. This is a barrel cue that I believe is a three by three. Oh. Okay guys, I did not expect this. It's like five axis symmetry plus this going on over here. Can it, but no, it can't turn like that. How do you even scramble it? So it's basically just that. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Oh no, what have I done? I thought I just like reversed it. No. Oh, whew. Yep, fixed. I wonder how you're supposed to know like the order of the side colors because like, couldn't you get like green over here and just think it's solved? Do you have to like refer to this or something? Ooh, instructions. Fun fact, I can read Chinese. And second fun fact, that is a lie. Okay, no, I'm kidding. I actually did learn Chinese like 50 million years ago. Tai Sung Mo Fang Something Fa Xiao Something. Yeah, look, I tried. This barrel star cube puzzle is very, very pretty. It actually looks like one that you can get really cool patterns on. Like imagine if you got like just the white star inside the yellow bit, like that would look so amazing. Actually, I wonder if I could do that. That'll totally mess it up. There's no way I'm gonna be able to fix it, but let's give it a go. Because see, that gets one out. So if I just keep doing this, I'm getting there, guys. Hey, there it is. <laughs> That is quite pretty. These side colors are unfortunately messed up, but otherwise that's quite pretty. It's like a star shaped egg yolk. Next, two curvy pyramid -y puzzles that are not actually simple pyramids. I've actually solved one of these. Okay, I've actually tried to solve one of these guys before. Uh, you can check out that video over here. I sort of failed, sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's a really interesting cube. It's actually a three by three mod. So I don't know if you can see it over there. It's actually really similar like that, that means that you can also do checkerboard patterns to it. Like these. Yeah. But yeah, Pyramorphix is a gorgeous cube and I have it to compare uh, to this guy. The 4x4 Master Morphix is named such, not just because, you know, there are like four, but because it is a 4x4 cube. Like one, two, three, and four. Those are the four layers, four layers, and four layers. And so those are the centers, like, you know, those, those four squares over there. So I can do, I believe a checkerboard as well. If I just turn the outer layers and there it is. Pretty. The way you solve this is very similar to a four x four. So you'd get the centers first and then you pair up all the edges and then you just solve it like a three by three. This will be a huge challenge as well, which I will one day attempt, uh, but that day is not today. Ooh. You will subscribe to this channel. You will subscribe to this channel. Ooh, spinny cubes. Spinny cubes. Spinny cube battle. Winner. That is 10 cubes down and four to go. Let's unbox these two made by Lanlan Toys. This guy over here is crazy. This my friends is the doubles cube. And so you see the symmetry of this guy, right? And how it turns like that. And if you hold onto the corner, you turn like that. Well, guess what? Hold into the corner and you can turn it like that. But you can also turn it like that. Can you see that? So it's sort of like the skew, but it now has like this extra like middle layer that can turn as well. <laughs> that looks so insane. So I am actually so scared to um, mess this, to scramble this because <laughs> look at that. All I did just then was one sledgehammer move, like just that and then ends up looking like this. It's like, oh my gosh. Although, I mean, I guess you can see how it's similar, right? But I mean, I've no idea how you'd recognize this and go, oh yeah, that's a hedge and solve it. Yeah, solved it, I'm a genius. But yeah, that's a doubles cube. 
It's it's amazing. One day I'll be brave enough to get into it. And this one, I'm so excited about this. This is, look at this. <laughs> It is the FTO. This is actually a really famous puzzle. Like there are a lot of people online who are really into it. There are online competitions and stuff just for this one puzzle. Now I've never turned or solved one of these things before. It looks to me like two pyraminxes. Like, I mean, one pyraminx right there and then another pyraminx right there. And I'm... Does it turn like that as well? Okay, I see now why it's called the face turning octahedron because you basically just like turn each face. Does it mean it's like a three by three? I mean, that looks like a three by three, right? When you turn it that way. Oh, it's no, it's not three by three because each side doesn't do 90 degree turns. That's like 120 degree turns. And so we turn it three times, it goes back to the original again. Oh, wow. Can it? Okay, so it doesn't shape shift. What an incredible puzzle. I really, really want to get into it. I just don't know if I'm brave enough to, you know, full on scramble it. That is really, really cool. The FTO. Can this guy spin? Nope. This video should literally be called All the Puzzles a Tingman's Not Brave Enough to Scramble. But I will one day. Our penultimate puzzle is a 7x7 seven seven Rubik's Cube. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Next. No, I'm just kidding. The 7x7 seven seven is an impressive looking cube. If you've only ever seen a 3x3 three three before, this has so many more pieces, it's crazy. But appreciate the change in size. It's only a little bit bigger, even though it packs in so many more pieces. It's really quite incredible. You can solve the 7x7 seven seven, uh, just like a 3x3 three three if you only turn the outer layers. So if you just, you know, scramble these outer sides. But what the 7x7, seven seven, of course, is really famous for is being able to make really, really cool checkerboard patterns. Like this. Hey, hey. Yeah, I gotta admit, that's pretty cool. But I bring up the 7x7 seven seven because as incredible as this is, it is nothing compared to the beast, the mother of all the other puzzles. The way I want to introduce this properly. I know, I know, I tease. This is a Kilominx, my friend. It is a dodecahedron. It's got 12 sides. This is the Megaminx. It also has 12 sides, like a dodecahedron, but it gets described as like a three by three minx because there are three pieces on each of the edges. Now you can continue going four, five, six, seven. I happen to have all of the odd numbered ones because they're a little bit easier to solve. They also all have a centerpiece, which makes it a little bit easier. The even numbered minxes don't have a fixed center, so they're just a little bit harder to solve. So this is the 5x5 minx, also known as the Giga minx. And then in a previous big unboxing, I unboxed the Terra minx. So this is a 7x7 minx, as you can see. There are seven pieces going across there, just like this one. And this, this guy is the next step up. This is the Petaminx. If you've been following the numbers, you can probably tell what number it is. Also, if you can read Chinese, because that is nine right there. But the Petaminx, <laughs> I'm scared to open it. Oh my gosh, it is a big boy. Okay, it comes with like two sets of additional stickers. That is a lot of stickers because there are 12 sides and each side has a lot of stickers. It's nice, but it's also a sign that maybe the stickers come off easily. I don't know. Oh, here it is, guys. Yikes. How do I even open it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> the size of this thing is just... And it's so heavy as well. Look at it compared to this little guy. It's like, can I be your friend? <laughs> Don't treat your friends like that, by the way. Be nice to everyone. I mean, I already thought that, you know, going from Giga to um, Terra was already pretty big, but uh, the Petaminx makes the Terraminx look tiny. This is a tiny little guy. This guy is massive. All right, here we go, first turns. Oh, wow. That is surprisingly smooth. Amazing. Can you even imagine what it looks like on, on the inside? Wow. It's an engineering feat. It is heavy. It is big and it is gorgeous. Oh, wow. Now its price is a pretty big thing too, but Code Tingman will give you 10% off at Daily Puzzles if you want to make this beast your own. And I actually think I do recommend it. It's pretty amazing. Guys, 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 here it is, all of the puzzles. Traditionally at this point, I award prizes to the craziest of the most unique puzzles, but I told you at the start, you 
are gonna comment down below to say which is the most beautiful puzzle of all. I'm gonna read all of those comments and then in my pinned comments say which one ended up winning. If I had to pick one, it's gonna be this bad boy for sure. And then maybe these like twisted puzzles. I mean, there's something really cool about it. But what do you think? Tell us once again down below in the comments. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed this. Check out these videos if you're hungry for more big unboxings. Thank you again so much to Daily Puzzles for making this video possible. That's it from me, Tingland fam. See you next time. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye